welcome to another California Guy video with your boy California Guy. What's up everybody and welcome to this all new video. Now this video is going to be entitled The Willie Lynch Leather White Supremacist Leak. Now I've been doing a lot of research. Well it's been talked about for years. Um, about the Willie Lynch letters. And it's a document supposedly written by a slave master on how to deal with slaves. You know, a lot of people, it was a document written and it was discovered in the early 70s. A lot of historians have claimed to be a hoax. Uh, some uh, African American groups, such as the Nation of Islam, have said it's real. It's a real document. And the document has been widely discussed amongst amongst historians and people all over, you know, black historians, white historians, southern, uh, deep south historians, uh, southern universities, many people have discussed it. They've all conclusively came up with the theory that it's um, a um, hoax. Now, if you want to know my opinion, and I've researched the Willie Lynch letters for years, uh, the other day, I've been looking at, um, I was watching a few videos on the Willie Lynch, uh, on Willie Lynch from YouTube, and I was looking at Dick Gregory, and Dick Gregory said something very, very interesting, and he said that the CIA, um, leaked, uh, the Willie Lynch letters. Now, I thought that it was a very, very interesting theory. And I, I agree with Dick Gregory. And I'm going to tell people why before people jump on my case. There's evidence to back it up. The CIA and the U.S. government has had a hand in controlled white supremacy in the United States. Uh, globalists, that's another issue for white people, globalists. Because so, we got to separate the issues with the globalists and white supremacists. That's stuff that white uh, conspiracy theorists deal with, like people such as Alex Jones and them, they deal with globalists. But for black people, our issues is with white supremacists. And I honestly believe, and there's proof to what Dick Gregory is saying, is that the CIA uh, manufactured that document. Because if people look at what was going on when the document was found, it was put out on purpose. That document was tools for how to control black people presently. They reversed it. If you read a lot of the or if you read the book, the Willie Lynch of manuscript that the government, the US government put out there, that was a way of controlling black people presently at the time and today in the United States. Uh, you know, you do such laws such as welfare, splitting the black family, uh, putting drugs into the black community making sure monies don't go to the black community, misinforming the black community. But they reversed it into it being a slave. Uh, they reversed the, they reversed the Willie Lynch letter to make it seem like it was in the slave timeline when it really was made for the present day. Because in the 1960s, if people go back and look at history, you had a lot of government assassinations going on. For example, Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, Megar Evers, Malcolm X, uh, even up to John F. Kennedy. And he's, they're white. He's a president. So you had several politicians that was killed. And this was through the U.S. government. U.S. government was implicit in murdering uh, individuals that stood against uh, America's uh, government, battling America's, America's government of white supremacy. Um, and the government did not want to have a second uprising from the Civil War. They didn't want that to happen in the 60s, so they shot and killed anybody that stood in the way of equality and democracy. Uh, you had the Black Panther Party, also in the late 60s, going to the early 70s. So it made sense that the CIA uh, authored that, uh, wrote that manuscript and leaked it out to throw more chaos into the black community. But uh, the CIA wrote that. It was the United States government that wrote that. And because the U.S. government has, again, been implicit in black 
experimentation, such as the Tuskegee Airmen. Uh, white supremacists have been involved with different uh, laws going on in the United States and manipulating civil rights. They've had FBI agents inf infiltrate Dr. King, which is not talked about. You had uh, CIA infiltrate the Black Panthers. That's why the Black Panthers broke up. They started framing the Black Panthers and they started doing different things to the, the uh, Black Panthers back at that time. So white supremacists has had a hand at that time. It was, you know, just like today, but even worse back then, almost, well, almost the same, that they would do anything to preserve power and keeping their government strong at that time and to stop black people from uprising and disrupting things going on in the United States. So the Willie Lynch letter was set up. It was set in motion to throw more chaos. And it was, they, 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 they used those three PowerPoints, those PowerPoints in the Willie Lynch letter that applies to modern day blacks. Because again, you have blacks that, uh, they keep blacks from achieving their goals. They separate the black woman and the black man. Uh, they kill, they use the cops to kill African American people. These are uh, ways to modernize that document and whoever leaked the, the, the paper and evidently it was leaked papers because then it showed that African American individuals was going to get targeted by the United States government because it's always happened. The government has been targeting African Americans ever since black people was free from slavery. I repeat, the United States government has targeted black people since uh, slavery has ended. So the Willie Lynch letters, it made sense that the CIA or the United States government would have co-authored the Willie Lynch letters. And it was effective. It was a very effective tool because, again, we used the government to uh, separate black families. You use the government, but such as like feminists, you know, you use you know agents like such as feminists, white feminists, to manipulate black feminists and to believe in that they're uh, uh, making money. So the government had to think of different ways to divide black people going into the 1980s and the present day, and even in the 80s, the government had did, and it's out there, people. This is not you know Kelly guy saying that you know. Uh, you know, it's not bullshit from Kelly Guy. This is documented facts. You can see it in uh, paperwork, or you could Google this stuff up. You could go back. Look at Walter King.